Hello, good morning. It's uh, Neil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets this morning on the uh, Monday, the 7th of March 2016. Be sure to visit www.cfds.com for your trading needs. Alternatively, visit the educational site www.cfds.education to certainly learn more. Okay, right, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here in terms of Asian markets overnight. Let's just uh, bring up the stats. The um, uh, the uh, Nikkei finished negative 0.6%. The Hang Seng certainly finished negative, and the Shanghai certainly finished up 0.8%. So, uh, given the uh, NPC, the National People's Congress, but obviously annual meeting, uh, it certainly um, failed to uh, live up to expectations of the additional fiscal stimulus that everybody was expecting. Hence, the reason markets were propped up quite substantially. Also, that obviously that certainly failed uh, to uh, live up to expectations. Hence, the reason why we got this, or why we're witnessing this risk off tone. Now, I did do uh, do my analysis on the European markets and the U.S. markets over the weekend. I posted the video on YouTube. Please visit my channel, and you'll see why I uh, the I expected the markets to sell off, which obviously has materialised thus far. Now, uh, slightly better start this week, plus eighty odd points for this morning on the live analysis service. Those of you that want to join, please visit the website www.intermarket-market-analysis.com uh, to join the live analysis service where I post my live trades, analysis and setups as well. Okay, so the risk off arguments. First of all, North Korea threatens the US and South Korea overnight, so obviously that's a risk off geopolitical tension. Uh, Chinese fiscal stimulus obviously only comes in at 3%. Previous was 2.4%, so less than expected. They certainly expected more. And also the details with regards to this potential fiscal stimulus plan, which is only 3%. They expected at least 5-6% or probably even more, given the uh, recent sell-off in the uh, the Shanghai index. Uh, the yen certainly into support. The euro obviously still quite lofty, although it has pulled back from that 1.1 uh, one zone. Okay. Uh, weaker data from the US on Friday. Weaker average hourly, hourly earnings, certainly a bearish uh, uh, bearish uh, um, variable, okay. Uh, also, with regards to Australian data overnight, we had uh, bearish news on jobs and construction, so obviously that questioned the stronger GDP number and certainly questioned global growth as well, okay. And the Nikkei obviously down overnight. Uh, the other key, uh, obviously, uh, bearish argument this morning was the BIS warning of negative rates just prior to Mr. Drockey's potential uh, cutting rates further and obviously attempting to do more QE. Now, given the German opposition, um, it se certainly se it seems to be, uh, certainly sounds like it's going to be very hard for the uh, the uh, Germans to certainly authorize any additional QE and uh, to obviously come to some sort of agreement with regards to QE. Now, there is already talk of a uh, disagreement with regards to QE going forward, and that certainly is interesting. Okay. Now, you have BIS warning of negative rates. That certainly uh, uh, hampers the ability uh, or the potency of the ECB. It certainly shows that uh, there is no agreement there at all, hence the reason why this article has come out on Monday. Now, the BCC chief resigns over Brexit row. Obviously, Brexit concerns still remain in the background, which again is a great uncertainty, and therefore that alone is a risk-off event. Okay. Also, Mr. Corroder overnight basically stated that the, he had no plans at this current juncture for any additional QE, which obviously we all know any a negative or anti-QE statements certainly are perceived as being bearish by the markets. Uh, Centix Investor Confidence, Eurozone Centix Investor Confidence certainly came in at 5.5, uh, much lower than expected, so again, that's certainly negative. In German manufacturing sector as well, uh, there was an article out today, or there was some news uh, release. Uh, Germany's finance ministry has warned that storm clouds are gathering over its manufacturing sector following the 1.6% drop in domestic factory orders in January. Over the two months, the impulses are from abroad. However, expectations in the industry have become considerably overcast and signal only a modest up upswing. Okay, so again, that certainly is bearish. Now, we also have concerns uh, with the uh, deadlock or the um, the uh, political deadlock in Spain uh, with regards to uh, Friday's vote. Okay, certainly um, casting a shadow over Spain as well. And that certainly is considered uh, to be uh, negative with regards to that. Now, Pedro Sanchez on Friday failed to secure parliamentary backing for his bid to become Prime Minister of Spain for the second time in less than a week, in a vote that ended all hope of a speedy resolution to the country's political stalemate. The leader of Spain's party only won 131 votes in the 350-seat legislature, just one more than he obtained two days earlier. Mr Sanchez was backed by only a member of his own group, etc., etc. So again... That certainly uh, leaves that uh, wide open in terms of uh, the, or creates more uncertainty, okay? So you have uncertainty with regards to the ECB, you have uncertainty from China, 
Uh, obviously, the BIS warning about negative rates. So certainly, storm clouds are storm clouds are gathering. Okay, and that's why we're seeing this market move lower. Okay, now in terms of um, the commodities, commodities as I've already explained over the weekend, we're into resistance, and the market certainly is moving lower. Now let's look at this uh, potential pattern that I explained to you. We had this H&S formation. The uh, head was at 3055. The neckline is at 3015. Looking for a 40 point drop here. Okay, so your H&S target on the downside will be 3055. Minus 3015, which gives you a 40 point drop. So you're looking at 2985, 2975 on the downside. Okay, so that would be your HS target for the uh, uh, Euro stocks. Okay, HS equals 3055, 3015 equals 2975. So 2975 basically puts you into potential support around this zone. Okay, so again, it'll be it'll dictate which, which way the US markets move. But this is a zone now we are into potential support here at present so looking for a potential bounce or a rebound here any rebound will be sold so i'm looking to potentially sell the FTSE at 6160 if the euro stocks were to revisit 3110 3010 or 3020 then i'll certainly be looking to potentially short that as well okay i'm already short the aussie uh, given the uh, weakness in commodities okay now let's bring up the german dax german jax obviously as you can see hns formation on the german dax as well with weaker factory orders obviously the euro and the ECB uncertainty, etc., etc., China uncertainty, and so on and so forth. So, HS formation on the German DAX, HS formation target is same with regards to so very similar pattern to the Euro stocks. You have the uh, uh, neck or oh, 9900 minus the neckline, which is around 9740. So, you're looking for a 160 point drop on the downside. So, that takes you to uh, 9680, 9580 will be the downside potential target so again watch out for that uh, potential zone below so 9580 takes you to uh, this region here where previous resistance equals support on the downside so although having said that bear in mind that obviously you have qe in the background so that certainly will act as a potential stimulus and keep the markets afloat okay okay right uh, now the uh, the actual uh, daily chart, let's quickly go to the daily chart, German DAX, you know already we have horizontal resistance, so that certainly is holding the 60 minute chart, you are looking at potential br potentially breaking down here, and obviously that H&S formation, the rising uh, bullish trend line, and the next zone you're looking at is the 9580, which is previous resistance, equals support on the downside, okay? Now let's look at the chart of the French CAC, also H&S formation, very similar pattern there, you have an unfilled gap below that needs to close. Next potential support is at 4390, and then obviously you are looking at 4370 potential support. Previous resistance equals support in this zone as well, so watch out for that, okay? FTSE 100, the daily chart is uh, certainly putting in a negative uh, candle in today, certainly holding that key resistance zone there, where previous support equals resistance. Now the um, the actual uh, FTSE 100 now, let's just connect these uh, tr trend lines together. You are looking at a potential move lower given the bearish in, uh, pattern that we are, we're facing now. Also on the um, 60 minute chart, you clearly have a potential bearish pattern. So you have this uh, head that's obviously been formed, looking for a potential slight bounce and then obviously looking for a reversal and, and a move lower. So again, that's going to be interesting as to what will happen there and what will transpire. So. Again, looking for weakness on the FTSE 100. Bear in mind that you do have this diagonal trend line that may well act as support, and then you have key support at that 6115 zone. Now, the 10-minute chart is screaming gap fill, gap fill, gap fill, close, gap fill, close, and that certainly is a zone that I'm looking for to looking to target. So, looking for a potential bounce here back up to the 6150 zone, 6160, and then certainly looking to add in shorts and looking for that 6122 closer gap below. Okay, uh, HNS is already in full swing. And we're looking to retest the neckline at that 6160 zone. Okay, that certainly is a wrap in terms of European markets. You can see that we are clearly bearish with the HS formations. And given the storm clouds that are gathering, which I explained already in my video at the start, it certainly is a bearish um, uh, environment and looking for further moves lower. Once we close that gap on FTSE at 6120, then you are looking for potential support. And that may well be an area that I will certainly reverse. My position in terms of my bias and look to uh, target the upside okay that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs